My name is Mary Greenstead. I'm a trustee here at Court Barn Museum and I've been involved with the Guild of Handicraft Trust since about 2009. Before that, I was a curator at Cheltenham Art Gallery and Museum and, and my particular field of interest is the arts and crafts movement. I'm going to talk about Sidney Reeve, who was uh, a silversmith, uh, born in 1875, um, and was only really involved with the Guild of Handicraft for two years. In June 1902, uh, Janet Ashby, Ashby's wife, uh, wrote in her journal describing uh, Sidney Reeve as a, another find, find in capital letters. Uh, but when he retired, he moved back to Ch Chipping Camden and worked with Hart Silversmiths. His son, John, also uh, moved to Chipping Camden, and it was Sidney Reeve's son who gave uh, the Guild of Handicraft Trust, and thus Court Barn Museum, um, the family's collection of drawings and photographs relating uh, to his father's work. Most of the drawings and photographs don't relate to that period in 1902 to 1904. They mainly date from his time in Leicester or uh, later when he was working with Hearts from 1934. I mean, just looking through these drawings, first of all, I noted the, the quality of his drawing. They're very, very sensitive, um, very evocative pencil drawings. The mirror frames were obviously a popular um, part of his work. This one um, is a mixture, shows a mixture of two techniques. It's uh, in silver um, with uh, blue stones, uh, lapis lazuli, and it's got a, a, a sort of twisted pattern on the handle, which is something he particularly liked. Round the edge of the mirror frame is um, some initials um, and uh, a pattern of leaves, and that is repousse work. So that is where the design is beaten out um, with a little hammer from the back. This rather complicated piece in the center is chased work. And this one here with a, a female form, very like some of the um, naked figures that, that Ashby designed. I thought this was particularly interesting because it's got a, a little comment by uh, Sidney Reeve at the bottom. The base plan is circular, but develops into uh, an eight or possibly ten-sided polygon at the top. You can see the actual uh, tea set here. We also uh, have a couple of uh, books, uh, books of photographs that Sidney Reeve put together. Here's some of the, the jewellery here. Uh, he did a lot of, um, I suppose, what you might call corporate work. This is a medal for the bailiff of Leicester. These um, candlesticks are very typical of Sidney Reeves' work, and I've seen a number of pieces uh, that relate to, to this design. And finally, um, this is uh, an ecclesiastical piece. I've just uh, included these because I thought they were 
just so typical 30s. They're a design for some chase decoration on a piece. Could even be a sort of presentation piece for a school or something like that. Finally, um, from uh, a magazine, there's um, a photograph of some work by students who had um, here in Chipping Camden, who've been taught by Sidney Reeve. Um, and it, I know it's sort of said that in the 1920s and 30s, there were more amateur jewellers and silversmiths in Chipping Camden than anywhere else in the country. Um, I mean, the, the town was so fortunate to have um, this real uh, pool of enthusiastic designer makers who were not only uh, exceptional uh, people in their own right, but they were really keen to follow Ashby's philosophy and um, you know, spread their craft as widely as possible and encourage um, people, just even if it's only just trying their hand, but as you can see from, from the photograph, the quality of the work um, is pretty good. Sidney Reeves probably not that well known. His work has been sort of subsumed, really, under the Ashby and Guild of Handicraft name.